It was more difficult than I thought, but the result is not only one image, but also other angles of the same car. I know it's not perfect, but I quite like it. I can say that I did it. While having breakfast, I had this idea of designing a car in one day. Cause come on, I love speed. We can now put our schedule into AI, Viscom specifically, and get results immediately. Then we can jump into Blender and model those ideas, refine them further and get super realistic renders, right? I mean, these are fast, but design process still needs time to refinement. But I was like, what if? What if I can do it in one day? Of course, it is not the professional or proper way to design cars, but I think it's a fun challenge. And honestly, it's not as easy as I thought. Okay, it is 10.11, I just left home. I am excited to try this challenge for myself to design a car in one day. But I also have a meeting today at 1 o'clock, I don't know how long it will take. It's already 10.12, so I'm gonna start probably around 10.40. So I don't know how long time I will have, but my idea is I can use this time in the car to find at least a brief. Because brief is very important part of the design process, right? You need to have a clear idea, clear vision where to go. Then you can start sketching. This way you will know what to do, right? Probably because of I was in the traffic, first idea came to my mind is an urban car which solves the traffic problem, right? Very typical. Then I thought, okay, let's add some more excitement and let's make a supercar. But I just did a supercar project for my Blender Advanced Car Design course. You can see the details on my website. Then I thought about a pickup truck or an SUV. I actually realized that I didn't do an SUV project for a while, so I think the brief will be an SUV. I will not go so much into details like how many people, what's the dimensions, is it like a compact SUV or like a full-size off-road vehicle. At the end it's a fun challenge, so I will try to have some fun. Okay, it's finally time to start sketching. I'm saying finally because it was right after weekend. So I had a lot of emails and messages to answer and it takes time. At the end, I'm running my own business. There are potential projects, there are collaborations, planning and so on. So it's already after 11 and I'm just starting to sketch. And honestly, it makes me a little bit stressed because at one o'clock I also have a meeting. But anyway, at the end, sketching is also relaxing and I start by side view SUVs and putting some front and rear perspectives as well. However, when I start a new project, I generally focus on the side view because later I can put it on Viscom or directly to Blender to create the volumes. And later I can take a screenshot from this 3D model to sketch over for ideation on the front and rear as well. As I already have some sketches, at least one or two of them seem promising to me. But before deciding anything, let's get some advantage of Viscom. Well, it's been an hour. I'm not super happy with these sketches, but it is a fun design challenge, so I have to go with it. But the problem is I have a meeting soon and I'm quite hungry, so I need to eat something and then get ready for the meeting. After the meeting, I'm gonna use some AI superpowers to speed up the process. While eating, I also wanted to use this time a little bit of efficient, so I started to put these sketches into Photoshop to increase their contrast and save them as JPEGs. Alright, now it's time to put the sketches into Viscom to get some AI superpowers for our design process. By the way, thank you Viscom for sponsoring this video. Let me tell you a couple of differences first. Since last time I talked about Viscom, we have a couple of updates. For example, on the UI, when you open a new file, now you have a button here, you can already import while opening the new file. So I'm gonna import this side view sketch. I'm super excited to show you if you didn't see yet the new refine feature. Let's pick our number four images because I have the pro account. Let's go to prompt and say, brutal looking SUV concepts. First, I'm gonna pick render and hit generate. Okay, this is a little bit too brutal maybe, not bad. So I'm gonna hit confirm to this one. And now you need to see the refine. Like we can just pick this layer now, go to refine, 
I change nothing. Drawing influence is 50% less try. Let's it generate. Each time you hit refine after generating the image, it brings up more details and refining more and more. Okay, this one is a little bit losing now the perspective. It's because of my sketch probably because I directly put the very rough sketch so I see on the back it's a little bit confusing. Let's see the other images as well. And more or less they all are similar and I see some extra wheels here. I think it's because of my sketch. But you can definitely see the new updates, like how high quality is the results. Like let's see confirm and if you, like after confirming you can see the difference. Like on the refine on the side of the car or like the details are getting more realistic. But it's also getting a bit further than my sketch, like getting a little bit far away from my sketch. So we can try again, I will just pick this one. Also now, on the layer name you can see your prompt. So if you somehow forget your prompt or something, you can come to your layer name to see which prompt you used. So let's go to create again. Increase the influence this time to 80% and generate again on the refined mold. And I think that's better on the rear part of the car. Let's now decrease the drawing a little bit more, 60% and generate again. Here we go, now it looks better, like better than this first refined one. Cool, so you can see the amount of details. Yes, it gets a little bit more traditional car parts because more I refine with the lower drawing influence, it probably gets more information from existing cars, I'm guessing. But it's definitely another level of detail and quality now with Viscom. I'm pretty sure you saw nowadays on Instagram, for example, Scott Robertson is sharing some Viscom generated results of his sketches and they look great. Just go check it out. And if you still didn't try Viscom, which I don't think so, go to Viscom website and you can try it for free. Now I'm gonna work on other sketches. I will bring them into different levels and I will just put them all together to pick which design direction I wanna go. Right, I don't even know how it happened, but it's already quarter past three. I spent around half an hour on Viscom to generate very cool images. But then I think I got lost on my phone, scrolling around and this kind of wasting a little bit time. But okay, I think we still have time. Let me show what happened. Thanks to Viscom, I was able to generate many variations. As you can see, different rear views, different side views. Like this one is quite interesting. I like that rear, especially. And Overall proportions is also not bad on this side view, but it was not my favorite. I will show you my favorites. Like this one is very big, very like a cube, let's say. It's also not what I was looking for. By the way, about the brief, I was not super clear. Like the goal is there's much detail, dynamic or elegant or brutal. I was thinking first like a brutal SUV, but then I was like, just an SUV. It's like a one day challenge. So let's try to have fun and let's see where it goes. So these are the results. That looks very, very low profile, like low, very close to the ground type of SUV. I don't know if you can call it SUV. The sketches were really, really rough. And I see that it affects the result a lot because yesterday I was outside and I was sketching an iPad directly to Viscom. We can make another video about that too. And I got quite good results as well. And the sketches were a little bit more clean maybe because of I did it in the Viscom app itself I mean on the browser as I see when I just took the photo of these sketches and increased the contrast and put them in Viscom I think it's a little bit more confusing like keeping clean sketches might still be helpful I'm guessing but the refine feature really adds a lot of quality and a lot of details to the sketches as you see I really like new updates of Viscom these are the favorite ones this is not the one I select because Next step is I'm gonna take these ideas and put them into Blender. This also like, not the whole side view. I quite like this result by the way, but this rear, something is very interesting. So I'm thinking, or I will go into this direction, to this rear, or to this one. Because this is the key sketch now I pick. I will start modeling this car in Blender based on this sketch. So also the rear is quite visible and quite clear what to show. And I think we don't have a lot of time to make a lot of details, so I think this will be the direction for rear as well. But for the front, I like this one. On this prompt, I typed something about Land Rover and I can clearly see the Land Rover inspiration here. So, and also on the roof and the graphics. But what I like most is this front headlights and the cleanness of the front, quite nice result. But again, this will be the side view that I'm gonna start on Blender. 
Again, it's 3.20. I don't know. I just had lunch, I thought, but I'm already hungry. In the morning, I had a different idea about this challenge in general. I was like, well, I'm very fast in Blender. I can probably model the whole car in a very beautiful way, but... At this moment, I'm a little bit worried that I don't have enough time. I don't want to leave the office super late, but also I don't want to give up on this challenge. So I started by the roof, focusing on the silhouette and the volumes of the car in Blender. You know what? Let me fast forward it to show you the results already. Alright, this is the result after 1 hour 15 minutes. I started by the base volumes and developed it a little bit further. If you already watched my Blender Advanced Car Design course, you know that I like to start by different parts of the car and then connect them into each other. It is a very good practice. And if you don't know Blender at all, you can also start learning from my beginner's course. More details are on my website. So after one and a half hour, we came to this level. I brought the wheels also from my advanced course. It doesn't totally fit, I think. So while importing this model to the Wiscom, I think I will just use a basic cylinder there with more thicker tires, let's say. Overall, this feels a little bit more compact than the original key sketch. Here we can see the comparison. But as we will import this model into Wiscom, the goal was to be able to see similar feelings from different angles. So set up the volumes and the proportions correctly. Honestly, I'm very curious to see how it will go. So now it's time to use this model for generating three different views because to me it's not only about getting a side view or getting only front or only rear. If it was like that we wouldn't even need to model maybe. I could just make one side sketch and or maybe this would be already done you know we would just improve this further. I would refine it further clean it a little bit and then this would be the result of one day car design. But what I wanted to do is same car from different angles. So one side view, one front perspective and one rear perspective will be showing the car. So that's what I'm going to work now. That's what I'm going to try to work now. Let's get one side view, something like this. Add to canvas, go back to the 3D layer, something like a front view like that. And one rear view, something like that. Now I'm going to plug my graphic tablet to sketch over in Viscom to add the graphics that we had. This way we can refine and guide our results in a better way. I'm definitely guilty of not being efficient because probably I was scrolling my phone or resting a little bit so I wasted a little bit of time. But it's okay because it will not be hours of Photoshop rendering. I'm just gonna put the base character lines, the important graphics to my 3D screenshots and then I'm gonna write the prompt in Viscom. By the way, it's very important to get similar results so I'm gonna write the same prompt with something like a desert environment. This way the environment will be similar, the car will look like the same car. I'm pretty sure there will be differences, because I'm not drawing all the details to each sketch, but it is totally expected. Later I'm gonna put the selected ones into Photoshop and try to bring them closer to each other even more. I feel tired, it was a little bit emotional journey honestly, but here we are, it's time to finalize the design now. I picked three views, the ones that I like most, and there are differences on the details of course, especially on these graphical details and some surface treatments, but at least the proportions are the same and that's the whole point of 3D modeling at first anyway. So now on Photoshop I'm just using freehand brush tool to bring these details closer to each other. This way when you see these three images together you can feel like this is one design proposal. And if you are ready, let's see the final design proposal together. Let me know what do you think about this design and this challenge in general on the comments. Well, the challenge for myself today was to design a car in one day. It was more difficult than I thought. There were different struggles, different obstacles on the way. And I wasted a lot of time, I have to say this as well. But the results, I wouldn't say one day, I would say a couple hours of work result is not only one image, 
but also other angles of the same car. I know it's not perfect, but I quite like it. I can't say that I did it. This is the side view where it all started with this sketch. And I think it looks quite similar. Then putting this on 3D, developing further and then importing it back to Viscom AI to get these results and then tweaking them a little bit on Photoshop to get them closer. But of course, it's a little bit blurred details. I miss, I lost the quality while refining them on Photoshop. But to be fair, for a couple hours of work, I can say that this is like a design proposal. When you see them all together, it's like a design proposal from three different angles. Same background, I like it as well. Like I didn't even write super detailed prompts, but probably if I rode like a red SUV in a desert, I would get the result in the red with the same background or similar background. And that's, that's pretty cool. Like Viscom is definitely like changing it, you know? I think you see it yourself anyway, like Blender. Yeah, I'm gonna connect it to my Blender courses because Blender is also doing the same thing. Like a couple of years ago, it was not super popular, but now it's getting more and more pop popular. It's like a standard now. And when you combine Viscom and Blender in one day, you can get these results. Like if I give it one more day, like a proper one day of work, I would model most of this car. Or maybe in like, let's say in one week, if you are doing your portfolio, if you're a student, in one week you can do amazing projects now with all these tools. I'm happy at the end it was fun experiment. It's not like you have to do one project a day. It's not realistic. You need to spend a proper amount of time for like this design. Okay, like I'm happy that it's done. I'm happy to see the same design from different angles more or less. But of course there are tons of things to change. Like there is still a lot to add as a designer to develop the design, refine it further, to see if different elements working, proportions, surfaces, the idea itself. There are a lot to work on obviously, but it was a fun thing for me. I hope you enjoyed and my friends, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.